let's go ahead and get our work session started. And I see we only have uh, just a two, actually really two cases, one from Lowndes County, Mass got a cluster of three, which is probably just one, not for sure. But if you want to go ahead and present your Lowndes County <coughs> case, and then we'll follow right on behind with Matt. Yep, we'll do. Just have one case uh, on the corner of Skipper Bridge and Stafford Wright Road. Um, I don't know how familiar you are, but the Children's Advocacy Center is over there, located by BSU. They are um, maximizing the use of that facility. And they partnered with the county to get a CDBG grant for a new facility. Mm -hmm. That grant was funded, um, and the predication was they would build a new facility, and this was the property that was funded. Now they've gotten to a point where they think they are ready and that the grant was funded, they're coming forward for a rezoning so they can hopefully start construction of the facility on this property. It's currently zoned RA. Um, it's undeveloped. They just uh, harvested some trees in the area. You've got a residence, probably, I thought it was 250, 300 feet to the north, uh, but they are isolated right there on the corner, and they really just want to go in there and locate a new and build a new building here for their activities, which if you are not familiar with the CAC, the very bottom of their letter of intent has a little primer about what they do, but ultimately they, they help um, children and non-offending family members deal with child abuse related circumstances and cases. Um, very challenging work, very difficult work, but ultimately they're here because they think that this property donation is going to be a good fit for them because not only do they work in Lyons County, they work in the region as well. So recommended approval, you know, no conditions, nothing to report here. We're still listening out. The signs should go up probably tomorrow on the property to advertise the county commission hearing, but you know, nothing to report on this one right now. It's got water and sewer on the property. They will be serving it with Walt with county sewer, but water is a little bit further away, and they're going to try to use an individual well. Is the plans right? Staff drive is that on the, the schedule to be paid? It is. Um, they just approved kind of plans for that. Literally at the last meeting, paving should be you know 12 to 18 months out. Before they start? Before they finish. Before they finish. Yeah. Like open to traffic 12 to 18 months. Hmm. This is office institutional. Is this all like indoor counseling or are you talking? I believe. I haven't seen the final plans. It wouldn't surprise me if they have a small playground, small I, kind of recreation area. I'm but, just curious. I'm not familiar with the terms of that. Yes, sir. It, to me, that's the lowest zoning we felt like they could use for that property without going into a commercial type of zoning. Um, so mainly, they you know they fit into office institutional. I will verify to see if they're going to do some kind of outdoor play yard. Would not surprise me, like a daycare, which you might see <coughs> right here, but. I don't believe they currently have it at their office now. So, no building No, no. So it's uh, completely undeveloped property right now. They just harvested the trees, and I'm not sure of the developer future plans. They're just the ones who approached CAC and said we would be potentially interested in donating you about an acre if you would take it, and the CAC accepted their offer, obviously contingent on your zoning. Is that part of the development of the state? It is. It is. The LLC is like a JEV duck pond, but so far the signatories have been a volatile thing. Okay. Hmm. Any other questions for staff on that? Thank you, Jason. You're, you are through for the evening. Yeah. Yes. Matt?